We're broadcasting straight to your screen from Arrow in Your Head Stadium in the appropriately named Carcass City, Misery. It's always festive during MFL season. They bring in all the carcasses and dress them up in Crokeland jerseys. But the smell, oh, oh Lord have mercy. Oh, the smell. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Cincinnati Mangles take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man. I just can't want to chill out. I am on hell and I'll sell out. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants, I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho-ho, va 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 voom and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good... And the defense jumps outside. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. First and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> Second down and six. Jet 
the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that'll bring up second and one. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sending notice that the trap likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That yeah, is still edible now. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third down and nine. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. should throw it and catch it too. Third down and 10. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He had it for a second there. Third down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive.
And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and two. The defense called it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball for him, but it keeps coming back to him. Just one dirt and some butter dogs time. And they'll bring him third down and seven. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And need a good as mother. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and one. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. And he just nailed him right in the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty. He should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. That run is good for nine yards. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Rim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And they went to the air and came up big. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. play and they stump the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game oh nice coaching move there hall of fame caliber well i mean it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game i won't listen to this blasphemy <laughs> murphy brown what i mean first down 
Look that. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. somehow and hold on for the first down this guy has a nice set. and that's the end of the second quarter someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at monsatan industries we make genetically altered franken food you'll have fun trying to identify welcome back hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. moving he picks up five yards on that play second down and five this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game third down and five First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Shave a few days off his life. First and eight to go. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. And that'll bring up second and one. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! want to make any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies they need a good return here to set up the offense not a bad kick but not a great one either well his nickname is lukewarm and he's proud of that yeah that's why he made this clothing company lukewarm threads Team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be 
be second down and four. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he just slipped away like... And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. You know, you know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think a few low expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. his way out of it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. 
touchdown. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. First and, long. and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. You know, Bricks, when the ref is faster than your football team, you've got some serious issues. First down and forever. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And like Rex's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. They're going for two points. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. for the first down. And it's first and ten. First down! He was 
is not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Second and three. Four. They go to one and into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down as guys in a speed fake round. He's running from his team, which is clear. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but. You never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, with a brutal hit. First and ten. Whoa. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. Don't it, Grim? That's a great dirty trick. Second down in a lot. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. And it's first and ten. Yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. Yeah, never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's 
It's first and ten. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And it's first and ten. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, boy. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Second down and ten. point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them just catch it run it back and don't die changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? Second down and up. If timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. trick negating that play completely the offense is pissed well, i wish i had that trick in the elevator with me earlier i let one rip the carcass city creeps walk away victors today they come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home i heard wounds taste just like chicken how was it scrambles tomato soup wounds mm -hmm, good the mvp is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom 
Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.